You're a farmer experiencing a drought with little water in the barrel and a water sprinkler that just can't keep up. What if I said there's a way to set up a timer circuit to allow the most efficient water system for your farm? The name's Sledge, and today we're covering the time sprinkler system in Rust. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's jump right in. You'll need four branches, two timers, one blocker, at least one sprinkler, and a fluid switch and pump. Before we dive deep, to save some time making a second video on how the general function works for a manual sprinkler, you simply connect one power into your pump and then route water out from a water barrel into the water in of your pump. Then the water out of your pump to a sprinkler's water in. When you power on the pump, it will pull water to your sprinklers infinitely, unless you run out of water from a water catcher or water pump. Do everything from this part except connect the electrical wiring. It will not change for what we're about to do. Now for our time-based circuit. Place your items down how I have mine laid out. You will need five power total for this circuit, so make sure your first branch located in the bottom left has that much electricity running to it. Before we wire the setup, set all branches to one power except the bottom right most branch, which can be set to two power. As for your timers, set your left timer to an amount larger than the right timer, and understand the water will run as long as the right timer's clock runs, and it will stay off for the remaining duration the left timer is powered on for when the right timer is off. Each plant requires different amounts of water for optimal farming, so you'll need to do that research for yourself or maybe hit up Tea Guy Tom or something. Let's get into wiring next. Starting with the leftmost branches branch out, connect this to the pump's power in, then the power out to the power in of the bottom rightmost branch. From here, connect the branch out to the power in of the last remaining bottom branch in the center, and the power out to the rightmost timer. The center branch's power out will connect to the blocker and its branch out to the leftmost timer. Next, you will run the power out of the left timer into the block pass-through of your blocker, followed by the power out of your blocker to the toggle on of your rightmost timer. Finally, the power out of the right timer connects to the remaining branch at the top, where you will connect its power out to the toggle of the pump and the branch out to the toggle on of your leftmost timer. Also, don't forget my first mention to connect some hoses from the barrel to the pump and the pump to the sprinklers, if you didn't do that yet. Now, when you power on either timer, the water pump will be set to a timer system. Now, I kind of ran through that one kind of quick, so I think this one's important for me to slow down for demonstration of its power flow for a better understanding. So, looking at these freeze frames, after the circuit is started, you will see the bottom row of branches are constantly powered, as well as your pump and blocker. When the pump is in the on position, both timers are green lit and actively ticking down their clocks. When this happens, power is being sent from the rightmost timer into the top branch, which toggles on your left timer, which then sends power to the blocker's block pass-through. This top branch will also be sending power to toggle on your pump. Once the rightmost timer runs out of time, it will power down the branch at the top, stopping the pump, as well as power to the toggle on of the leftmost timer. Since this left timer is powered down, the block pass-through of the blocker is receiving no power, meaning power can be pushed to the toggle on of your rightmost timer, starting the cycle over again. This will loop infinitely, and you can provide water on and water off to whichever timing works best for your farm. It's a bit tricky to explain, but I hope I was able to help you understand it and do this on your own. This system makes growth the most efficient, as well as helps you maintain zero waste of water in your barrels. I hope it was helpful. If it was, smack that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, join my Discord in the description below for chill talks and opportunities to get involved in upcoming videos. Now, get your straw hats and get to tending your farms. Happy rusting, my friends, and I'll see you on the next one.